So, SQL Alchemy. It is an ORM in Python, which allows you to talk Python objects and do stuff in databases. And it can do a whole lot. You can talk to SQLite, for example, but of course, also Postgres, as well as MySQL and a bunch of other things. But if you're a library and you're trying to support multiple backends, you are going to hit some issues because there are some features that Postgres has that SQLite doesn't. There are some features that SQLite has or some things that SQLite does differently or some assumptions that MySQL might have. So whenever you're building a compatibility layer, you will always have to figure out how to deal with incompatibilities in general. And this can be an issue. If you're trying to write a library or a larger system and you wanna make sure that the code that you're writing works on both SQLite and Postgres, then you don't wanna have users that accidentally import something from SQL Alchemy that is really bespoke to Postgres and will therefore fail for SQL Lite. That is something you wanna prevent. And as luck would have it, turns out, you can actually use Ruff for that or Flake 8. And let me show you how you can configure that. So here's a pyproject.toml file. And you can see that I've configured, and you can see that I've configured this TID over here that is a tidy imports Flake 8 plugin from way back, but Ruff ported it. And what you can do is you can specify band module level imports. So you could go ahead and say, look, this submodule Postgres SQL from Dialects or MySQL or Oracle or Microsoft SQL or SQLite, all these things that are very specific to a dialect, that's all in the submodule. And I want you to complain if a user ever loads from it. You're effectively just banning a submodule completely. And I can imagine a few use cases for which that's useful. But for SQL Alchemy, if you're interested in keeping things very stable and boring and only use the base API, it's actually great. And you can go a little step further as well. If you want, you can attach a specific message. So you can do something like, hey, whenever somebody is importing anything from this dialects module, uh, there's a specific message that we wanna send. So only use portable SQL Alchemy types, not dialect specific ones. This is quite useful in general because New person joins the project, sees an error message, doesn't know what's up. It is good to always explain the why of something and this is the way to do that. But then as a demo, I also have a little script.py file over here. It is really just a silly script. The only thing that it does is it's importing something from that dialects submodule. It's importing SQLite. And if I now call UVX rough, it's gonna use the pyproject.toml file and it's gonna give me some complaints and let's go ahead and read them. There's a warning as well, but I'll ignore that. The first thing that I wanna pay attention to is this bit. So SQL Alchemy Dialects is banned. There's the custom error message that we wrote. So cool, that one's flaring up. But then there's also a few of these. So we're saying, look, you're not allowed to import SQLite over here because again, that's something that we hard configured. And then if I scroll even further then, oh yeah, like the script is not actually using that SQLite thing. So it's also complaining about something being imported but unused. So it found three errors. The final one is of course good but the ones that we care about are the ones that prevent the submodules from being loaded. And this feels like a great safety mechanism. I can imagine if you wanted to write a PyTest test for this, that'd be super duper annoying, but having this fixed file linter makes a lot of sense, feels super easy. So just remember that you can use rough for stuff like this as well. It's a very neat trick. More people should probably know about it.